Hello, my name is David. I'm going to demonstrate on how to install one of our Mojo pre-slotted and pre-shaped bone nuts, hopefully in less than 30 minutes total for the average professional. Here we have our pre-slotted and pre-shaped bone nut. As you can see, it's been shaped and slotted very accurately to accommodate for most Fender guitars. We also have them for Gibson guitars as well. They are slightly long and slightly tall to accommodate for most necks. The whole idea behind these is to save you, the repair person, time so that you can hopefully make more money and get better results per job. Here we have a Fender guitar with a 7.25 inch radius. We're going to replace the existing nut that is worn with a brand new Mojo bone nut that has been pre-shaped and pre-slotted for a 7.25 inch radius neck. As you can see, the guitar is well supported. It's not moving. The neck has been elevated above the table so I can work very easily on this installation. The first thing I'll do is loosen or remove the strings. These are new strings, so we'll keep these. And I will take these and move them aside very carefully. First thing we're going to do is remove the old nut from the slot. Take a cloth, a radius block, a hammer with a nylon tip preferably, and just lightly tap this. All we're doing is knocking the glue loose on either side. I'm going to use these bull nose fret nippers to pull this nut out of the slot just like a tooth, up and out. Just take the nippers, put them around, get a grip, and just pull it out. Here I'll be using my file here, eighth inch wide, to clean out the slot, get all the old glue and, and stuff out of there for a nice clean slot to install the new bone nut. Now we're going to put the new bone nut in the slot and check for any adjustments that need to be made before we final install. Go ahead and put the new nut in the slot, press it in, center it up. As you can see, it's slightly long on either side. We're going to use the mechanical pencil to mark a line so we can make those adjustments for a perfect fit. Flip the guitar over, take a pencil line, mark up against the neck on both sides, and that's where we'll sand to remove any of the material needed to make it perfectly flush. We're going to go ahead and remove the material off of both sides up to the pencil lines and then make any final adjustments with a lesser grit paper. We're starting with 150 grit to get the rough uh, adjustments made. I've got the ends right where they need to be. What I'm doing now is just going through and making the ends very shiny and buffed out with higher grits of sandpaper. I've moved to 220, then to 600, then I'm going to go to 1200 to get a nice smooth look on the ends. All right, here we're going to check our fit and make sure it's nice and tight and the ends are trimmed very flush. We have a good tight fit. It's seated very well across the bottom. You don't feel anything on the edges, which is perfect. And we take it back out and we're going to go through and round over the edges nicely, go through the higher grits of sandpaper and make this very shiny and glossy before we final install. Here I have just a dropper with some thin super glue in it. This is great for quick, easy jobs, although I recommend using hide glue or something else for a slower setup time. But for this video, we're all about showing how quick we can do this. Now we're pressing this in very tight, making sure that everything's seated, the ends are flush, which everything is, looks great. The glue's instant, so it's dry, it's ready to start slotting. Put the strings in. Now we have the strings back in the slots. We're going to adjust the slots for the correct height. Here's a full set of nut files that I'll be using to adjust the height of each of these strings in each slot. Here I'm just slotting for the low E, being very careful, angling everything just right for the string, checking frequently to make sure that we're not going too low. We start doing everything by eye first, and then after we get everything where it looks to be very close, we can go in with feeler gauges and check to make sure each string is exactly where it needs to be. Now keep in mind this demonstration was not for beginners. This is to show professionals how easily and how quickly you can install a bone nut. Now that everything's perfectly slotted, the height's where we need it to be, the guitar plays great, we're tuned up, we're ready to play.